Now to some other news. Deputies say a Davenport man went off killing his aunt and stabbing his dad 23 times. Yeah, but that overnight rampage didn't end there. ABC Action News reporter Andrea Lyon is live in Davenport on Davenport Boulevard to explain what started this all. Andrea. Neighbors tell me that Pedro Vega Jr. was hiding out from the law inside this house, but that his father was very religious and might not have wanted him staying there, which could have sparked outrage. To see something like this happen, it's very shocking and saddening for the families. Gunfire fighting and lights. That's what neighbors woke up to early Wednesday morning. My heart goes out to Amanda and her family because I know it's hard on them. Elva Carpio lives just two doors down where deputies say Pedro Vega Jr. slaughtered his aunt, then tied, bound, and cut his father 23 times. You don't know who your neighbors are. Looking at Vega's picture and seeing him to say hello, Elva says he seemed harmless. Sometimes we talk about the kids. But according to Sheriff Grady Judd, the man behind this mugshot is nothing less than evil. Pedro Vega Jr. is a really bad guy. He's evil in the flesh. The rampage didn't end inside this mobile home. The horror continued with Vega accused of breaking through a window to a relative's home next door. Well, the next thing they know, Pedro's at the door and he breaks a window and is shooting with a rifle. Relatives fired back twice and Vega Jr. took off. By 7 a.m., the accused killer was found in his father's truck covered in blood. Investigators telling us today the family was hiding Vega Jr. after he severely beat his wife back in May, something neighbors did not realize. And I was shocked, very shocked, because he didn't seem that tight. We had incredibly serious charges against him, and the family he murdered was hiding. You just don't know who you live next door to. Vega Jr.'s criminal history is extensive, dating all the way back to 1986, where he was convicted of rape in New York, again convicted of sexual battery in 2001. He served 13 years in prison for that, but Sheriff says this time it's unlikely he'll ever get out of prison. Live in Davenport, Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News. Andrea, thank you. Well, now is a good time to remind you if you or someone you know may be a victim of domestic violence, there is always a place to go for help. You can anonymously call the statewide domestic violence hotline at 1 800 500 1119. You'll also find local domestic violence centers and resources on our website. Just head over to abcactionnews.com/dv.